Hey everyone, this is Pete, and in this video, I'd like to illustrate a challenge that was brought to me in a class recently of how to create a hole at a compound angle through a domed cap. So I've just knocked out this simple example to show you what they're talking about. It's a little hemisphere, and they wanted to drill an angle or a hole at a compound angle. And so this is kind of a tricky deal, but makes it really simple when we utilize the UCS command. So I'm going to go ahead and knock out a new part showing you the process, but just wanted you to have a vision for what we're trying to accomplish. So I'll start up a new part and I'll go to Kraken. So we're going to create a new sketch and the shape is going to be relatively simple. I'm not here to create a super complex cap to illustrate the point, but we'll create that central line we'll do an arc from the end of the line and then we'll go ahead and apply a dimension here and then just for simplicity's sake i'll also convert this line to a center line just to make the revolution a little bit faster and and so the the key ingredient in the sketch is we want to figure out where we want to place that hole so i'm going to put a point along the curved edge and then we can dimension exactly where we might want that. So I'll just do 5 16 and once we've done that we can finish the 2D sketch. We can revolve the shape and then we'll just accept that. So in order to place the UCS I need that point back so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the visibility of my sketch and then we'll grab the UCS tool. So if you've never used the UCS command before, it's essentially like creating your own system of origin geometry and placing it wherever you want. So it will contain its own planes, axes, and a center point, but we're gonna stick it right there. So I'll go ahead and you see the triad is formed. I'll place it right there. And then normally when you utilize this tool, you would direct where the X and the Y axes point. But since we, they wanted to just drill a hole at an angle, we can actually mimic the same orientation as the universal origin, and I'll just finish. So you see the Y, the X, and the Z all point the same direction as the overall origin. So once we've done that, uh, the trickiest bit of this operation, believe it or not, is just selecting the UCS. So uh, you have to find the actual indicator, oh, there it is. And once I find it, I can double click on it. It was highlighted in green. It's just a little tricky because what it's trying to do is pick all of the individual axes. But once you double click inside of it, now we can go ahead and make adjustments. So you can slide it by hitting the arrowhead or change the angle by finding the center shaft. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that because we want to adjust the angle and when I adjust it 15 degrees, notice how the Y axis is now pointing in. So it's not directly normal to the curve, but it's not straight up and down either. So that's the idea with the UCS. And I'll do the same thing about this X axis. I'll type in 30. And if you don't like that orientation, all you have to do is change it again. You can put in a negative number. And now we're, oops, I guess it didn't take it the first time. Negative 60. I think I hit the bad key. All right. <laughs> it's fighting back a little bit. So let's try it again. We'll do a negative 120 there. So just to show you, you can go negative or positive. And it helps if you hit the right keystrokes <laughs> on your number pad. So anyway, we've got that. Once you're done, you can finish the edit of the UCS. And now your planes and your axes have been reoriented. So I would suggest turning off the sketch before the next bit because if we start to create a hole, it's going to see that sketch point and, and get all crazy. So I'll just go ahead and turn off the sketch again. And now when we do the hole command, it will be the on point option. So I can actually come over here, pick the UCS center point, pick the Y axis in this case, for the direction of the hole and then it will create the hole. So of course you could specify whatever hole you want. I'm just gonna hit this default. 
and now we've got a hole at a compound angle. So we don't often use the UCS tool. It's great for compound angle stuff like this or a miter cutting, but it can be an extremely useful tool. So I hope you found this helpful, useful. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know and have a blessed day.